I think that the world of photography is far too serious. There's so much talk about things that don't matter and I think we need to make photography fun again. So, I've decided to put a disposable camera lens on my Leica M11. Having a camera gives us a reason to go out and have fun. So the goal today is to go out and get one good photo, to be able to explain why it's a good photo and to have fun in the process. Let's go. So according to the website, this little specimen is 28 millimeter. Not sure whether I believe it or not. <laughs> I mean, it's a little bit of plastic glued to some 3D printed lens cap looking thing. But I think that if we can get reasonably close to people, get them into nice sunlight, I think if you get some nice photos. Obviously we've got this guy loving the sunshine. If you get luck, you can position him in the sky. Let's pretend like we're going down here. Pretty good place to have a little nap, really. We're gonna get this couple that is gonna come stand in the light, hopefully. Hopefully you're gonna bruise the scene, push them this way a little bit. So when they come into the sunshine, I can just... Oops, sorry. What's quite fun with this is because its focus is preset to 1.5 meters to infinity, you can use it like a point and shoot. So I've just been pretty haphazardly just going and taking photos of stuff. The camera itself doesn't look that camera-y because you don't have a big front element. Like what we're filming on, if you pointed that out to people, people would be like, yo, what are you doing? But with this, I feel like it doesn't really have that same effect. Like, <laughs> no one seems to be batting an eyelid. If you're looking for an X100V replacement. <laughs> Great, loads of people walked past not even three seconds ago and now no one's going. We live in a simulation. The sunshine is coming from this side and it's just kissing that little patch up there. And so hopefully, if we can get an interesting subject between the rails and the wall, maybe we'll have a nice frame and we'll have nice light on them. Mum and kid is slightly too wide. Take, take up that gap. We've got a nice leading line to it, but Kids, man, they're always just doing weird stuff and it usually looks good for photos. Maybe this is why people don't spend 50 quid for a lens. It is just boring, it is just a nice bit of light. That's not what we want. We want proper photos of people, interesting things. So that's what we do. We continuously push ourselves to be better and to see stories and to make up stories and to uh, you carrying on with this <laughs> yeah I feel like I kind of lost momentum through that we're going to keep pushing on so this is the issue with this bit of plastic being F10 is that as soon as we're not in direct harsh sunlight ISO goes mental on this and with the camera being such high resolution it means that the ISO performance in all honesty sucks. I kind of need to be in sunshine the entire time which then kind of means that I'm limited to I guess a specific look um, which isn't exactly what you want <laughs> for a lens. Do you think that if this was on like a, a Sony it would be better suited? Probably the the low light would, would help. The low light would help, yeah, that's so true. But like all of like the modern mirrorless cameras, the best thing about them is the autofocus, but the fastest autofocus is no focus, so all of the uh, benefits are redundant. Oh, this could look nice. I'm very, very dark. And because I stopped, I bruised the scene, I missed the moment, nothing is happening in the way that I wanted to. The light, when it does hit during winter. I'm saying California ain't got nothing on London. Should we go in there? Are you asking? <laughs> yeah. 
Yes. Okay, let's go. I think the fountains have frozen over. Look at the scene, when these two guys go, there's gonna be a guy sat there eating what looks like crisps in the beautiful sun. That's when having this lens absolutely kills me. I was gonna bring my, my other lens with me, but I was like, no. For the purpose of this video, <laughs> I need to stick with the pain of having plastic instead of very overpriced, potentially, glass. They were like lizards just like standing in the sun. But this is the fun of street photography. It's all about when you get to a scene, you're thinking of ideas. You're going, okay, this looks cool. What make it better? How could I tell a different story? How can I emphasize the story? How can I simplify it? And that's kind of what we spend most of our time doing. It's just wandering around, chatting shit in our own heads hoping for the best and not actually getting any good photos. Ooh, okay. If we look up here, we got hella shadow and we've got a nice strip of light and we've got hella shadow. So that light on dark, dark on light means that hopefully we can stack the subject. We need to stack a dark subject in the light or a light subject in the dark, which then means that they're super high in contrast so our eye is immediately drawn there. It looks pretty busy. I feel like everyone's standing in the sun because it's really nice. This couple, the National Gallery, looks like they're being really cute. So if we can slowly sneak up, take out the light, pop a few shots. Do you want to see the bit, place where I punched the floor max 100V? It was busy, I didn't want to get involved with everyone, but I wanted to get a good vantage point. Over here, I was just like, that isn't too high. I would just casually just like whoop to stop myself from falling. I just went. Is that what you in the mud? Yeah. The auto is crying right now. Please, please just let me take photos with glass. No. I think that if we can come over here, see how he's lovely in the sunshine. Uh, wait for these people to walk to the left. He's doing good work. Pardon? <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. It looks beautiful. You're in the sunshine and there's shadow behind you, which makes you stand out and makes it look really pretty. What, with the Leica like, X100V? Yeah. <laughs> uh, On an honest review. Honest review. Okay, here's what I'm thinking so far. The image quality is trash, but that is kind of a good thing. That means that you're taking photos that, like it doesn't matter if they're shit because you know they're gonna be shit, right? And so then you feel quite like creatively free, I suppose. I like that I'm being restricted to trying to find subjects that are quite close. I can't just like find a nice scene and from a distance be like, ooh, pap, 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 which is what it's quite easy to do. It's forced my arm in an interesting way. Um, look shit. <laughs> Would I recommend it? I think it'd be, as a fun lens, yeah. Would I offer it to a client as an option? <laughs> Probably not. What do you think? What do you think so far? Me? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'd agree with that. An interesting exercise, but that's probably as far as, yeah. as, far as it goes. Yeah. It's also seems to be quite frustrating that with some other lenses, you might have got yeah. a banger. Yeah, I, th I think that I think that's the most like, frustrating thing with this. I'm having fun, having fun, but sometimes I'm like, ah, oh, if I actually had nice glass, I'd be able to take a beautiful photo. But maybe, but then is this more of like a memory creator? Like, would you really use it for street? Probably not. You probably use it for moments where you want to emphasize and curate that nostalgic feeling. Like this would be absolutely banging for like a holiday with your mates or you're going somewhere with your family, somewhere where the goal isn't to take 
beautiful portfolio worthy photos, but instead to document your life. I think of this. Actually, yeah, maybe I would recommend it for that. A star five out of five. Go buy it. <laughs> Go buy it. I mean, if you've got 50 quid to drop, you can either get street tools or get this lens. Yes, street tools every time. <laughs> Nah, this is this is better than street tools. Street tools. There's nothing in there. <laughs>